Donna. Welcome to Donna's Things. If you're new to my channel, I'm so excited that you decided to join me on today. If you've been here before, I hope you like the content that you saw and thank you for coming back again. It has been a really long month but I have managed to get some sewing in and one of the things I want to share with you is my vintage inspired collection that I finally got finished. Let me show you the patterns that I use before I actually show you the clothing. The first thing I used was Simplicity 9676 it is a two-piece dress. It's the vest, uh, the, the vest and the pleated skirt. The pleated skirt has the inseam pockets. And then, of course, it has the little attached dicky here. And it zips up the side. Has the rounded collar. This particular version is beyond the knee. However, I did make mine where it stopped right at the knee. So this is Simplicity 9676. The second one that I made, um, this is from the 1950s. This is Butterick 6870. I did this version here, version A, and this is considered Mrs. Dress and Belt. I did make mine a two-tone. What I really like is this wide collar right off the shoulder. And then this one has the self-made buttons, buttons down the front. And it also has the zipper on the side. And again, this is Butterick 6870. The third item that I made is this beautiful tulip sleeve shirt. This again, a vintage inspired pattern. This pattern is from 1947, Vogue number 1809. And if you look closely here, it has this yoke. It's not a separate yoke, it's just top stitch, has the rounded collar, the, the gathering right here above the bust line, and the most beautiful part of it is this two-piece tulip sleeve. Vogue 1809. The fourth one that I made, this is a 1950s vintage pattern from Simplicity 8452. It is called a Mrs. Vintage Blouse. This is literally one piece. It's like a large rectangular, rectangle, excuse me. And of course, it has different openings for the arm, wraps across the front, and it tucks inside. There is a little snap here that keeps it, um, that keeps it closed. And if you can see here across the back, there's a seam going straight across the back. Even though it looks like a really simple thing, this was a really hard piece to put together. But I had fun doing it and it looks beautiful. Again, this is Simplicity 8452 1950s Vintage Pattern. The next one that I made actually is what I'm wearing today. This is Simplicity 9538. It's a 1940s Vintage pattern and these patterns aren't the actual vintage patterns these are remakes that the various uh, big four companies have put together but this is a really cute peasant style blouse has the elastic around the neck the pattern here has the elastic around the sleeve and the bottom flares out. However, on mine, as you can see, I do have the elastic around the neck, around the front and the back. I left my sleeve flared open and I did do the elastic around the bottom, around the front and around the back. And for those of you who know anything about sewing vintage patterns, this pattern had a gusset. A gusset is an additional piece of fabric that's there to um, hold, the, hold the garment together and of course for style. This triangular shaped piece of fabric was one of the hardest things to, to put together, but I managed to get that done. 
And then the final pattern that I made uh, is Butterick 7557. It's printed like this because this is a PDF pattern, but this is a pair of the tapered pants. I love this pant. This may be from the 1950s. However, I will wear these pants today. They called them cigarette pants back in that day. And so these are the garments that I will be showing you in the slideshow that I have made, my vintage inspired collection. I hope you enjoy watching my vintage inspired collection. If you like my content, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. As I've said before, I don't post on YouTube all of the time, but you can follow me on Instagram at Donna's Things. Thank you again. Bye.